Hi everyone, for our gritty math coding activity today, we're going to be creating a guess the coordinates game, kind of like Battleship, but I think a little bit better. We're going to have to help the dog find its food by guessing the coordinates of the donut. And we're going to be using Scratch to create this uh, activity today. And if you're new to Scratch or you need a refresher, I suggest that you go to my Learn to Code videos on YouTube and these will get you up to speed pretty quickly. I also suggest that you follow me and subscribe because I'll be posting videos quite regularly. Anyways, let's go and get started. So I'm going to go to Scratch. I'm already here, scratch.mit.edu. I'm going to click the Create button because we're creating a brand new game today. If a tutorial pops up, you can just exit the tutorial because I'm due to tutorial today. You can also say goodbye to the cat, so I'm going to click the garbage can. The first thing I suggest that we do is get a good backdrop, and there's one really good one for today's activity. So I'm going to go way down here. I'm going to choose a backdrop, and the one I want is almost the very last one. It's this XY grid right there, so I'm going to double click that. And I like this one because it tells you the coordinates along the X axis and the Y axis. For example, right here is negative 100 on the X axis, negative 200, negative 240. Here's 100 on the X axis, 200, 240. On the Y axis, here's 100, 180, negative 100, and negative 180. This will help us in our game today. I'm going to get some food, and the food that I like for today's activity is the donut. You can choose whatever food you like. There's lots of different foods, but I'm going to choose a donut, and I'm going to shrink this donut. It's awfully big, so look, I'm going to go to the size right there, and I'm going to click that and make it maybe like 30. There, that's good. So I've shrunk it to about 30. Now we're going to go get some kind of a character. And the character I'm going to choose today is a dog. So I'm going to click down there. You can choose whatever character you want. I'm going to choose a dog. Here we go right here. And I'm going to make the dog a lot smaller. It's awfully big for our game. So right now it's 100. I'm going to make him maybe 50. Great. So now our game is that we have to guess the coordinates of the donuts, and the dog will go to those coordinates and hopefully get some food. So I'm going to code the donut, first of all, to go to a random place whenever we click the green flag. That's a part of our game. So green flag, the donut should go to a random place. It's going to make this a little bit bigger, so if you're working at home or at school, you can see it a little bit better. When the green flag is clicked, I want the donut to go to a random place. And random places is under the motion button. Go to a random position. Perfect. Let's see if he goes to a random spot. Yep, he's going all over the place to random spots. Now I'm going to code the dog to start in the center always. And the center is 0, 0. So green flag, go to 0, 0. And again, the motion, go to 0 and 0. And let me make this a bit bigger so you can see at home. Great. So I'm just going to pause, let everybody catch up, get a backdrop, get a, some kind of food, code the food to always go to a random spot whenever you hit the green flag, and get a character. I chose a dog. You can choose whatever you want and code it. So when it, you hit the green flag, the dog goes to zero, zero, the center of the screen. And I would get this backdrop, the XY grid. It'll help for your game. So I'm just going to pause. And once everyone's caught up, you can continue on. All right, next. So when you hit the green flag, the donut goes to a random spot. Now we're going to have the game or the dog ask you, where is the donut? So look what I'm going to do. I'm on the dog right now. And I'm going to have the dog, first of all, explain what's going on. So I'm going to go to the looks button. And he's going to grab the say. And he's not going to say. He's going to say something like, help me find the donut or something like that for maybe three or four seconds. Everyone should have a time to read that. Now, the dog's gonna ask you the coordinates of the donut. So let's do that by getting a variable first. So I'm gonna go to the variables button, and I'm gonna make a variable. And the first variable I'm gonna make is x coordinate. x coordinate, and press OK. So there's the x coordinate. So now the dog is gonna ask a question. He's gonna ask, what is the x coordinate of the donut? What is the x coordinate of the donut? And he's going to wait. And whatever your answer is, that's going to change our variable. So I'm going to go to variables. And I'm going to set 
the x-coordinate variable to whatever your answer was. So he's going to ask, what is the x-coordinate? And whatever you put in as your guess, that's what we're going to set the x-coordinate to. Now let's have the dog ask a second question. What is the y-coordinate? So, what is the y-coordinate? What is the y-coordinate of the donut? Then, let's create a variable and let's call it the y-coordinate. y-coordinate. And then let's set the y-coordinate to whatever your answer is. Set, whoops, there we go. Set y-coordinate to the answer you just gave. Okay, so let's just test this out. Ready, green flag, the donut goes to a random spot. Help me find the donut. What is the x-coordinate of the donut? Well, I'm pretty good at this game. I've done this a few times. So I think the x-coordinate is about negative uh, 120. So I'm going to put a negative 120. Enter. Now the dog asks, what is the y-coordinate? It's another negative, oh, negative, negative 40, something like that. Negative 40. Enter. Okay, so nothing happens. That's okay. Now we're going to set it up so that the dog actually goes to the coordinates that you had inputted. So I'm just going to pause, let everybody catch up, have the dog ask what is the x-coordinate, what is the y-coordinate, and of course you have to make variables, make a y-coordinate variable and an x-coordinate variable, and set it up so that the x-coordinate changes to your answer, and the y-coordinate changes to your answer, and then we'll continue on. So I'm just going to pause and come on back whenever you're ready. Okay, I hope you're having some success with this. So, now that you've inputted the X and Y coordinates, we're going to see if the dog is touching the donut. He's going to glide towards the donut, and hopefully he's touching the donut. So, watch how I do that. I'm going to go to the um, uh, motion button, and the dog's going to glide for one second. Oh, that's kind of fast. I'm going to make it a little bit more, a little slower, to build some tension. Glide for three seconds to your X and Y coordinates. This is pretty easy. Watch. I'm going to go to the variables button. I'm going to grab, grab x-coordinate, glide to x-coordinate, glide to y-coordinate. So, after you input your guesses, the dog should glide to whatever you guessed. Let's see if that works. Ready? Green flag. So, help me find the donut. What is the x-coordinate of the donut? I think it's about negative 170. What is the y-coordinate of the donut? I think it's about negative 30. Now the dog should glide to these coordinates. Perfect. Nice. I'm good at I'm good at this game. I've done it a few times. So <clears throat> now we gotta set it up so that if the dog is touching the donut, he says something like, great guess. But if he's not touching the donut, he should say something like, almost, let's try again. So I'm gonna go and get an if else button. Uh, it's in the control, if else right there and I'm going to grab it and drag it right there. So after he glides, then he's going to check to see if he's touching the donut. If touching donut, touching, touching is a sense. So it's in the senses. Touching, I know it says mouse pointer, I'm going to change that. But I'm going to drag it in here first. When it's white, you can let go. Great. If touching donut, then say, say, if he's touching a donut, say, Great guess for two seconds. If he's not touching the donut, um, say good try or, or let's try again or something. So almost let's try again. I should spell it right there. Okay, so if he's touching the donut, he says great guess. If he's not touching the donut, he'll say almost let's try again. Okay, let's do this one more time. Help me find a donut. What is the x-coordinate? So that's an easy one. The x-coordinate is 0. What's the y-coordinate? Ah, it's about negative 80. So let's see if he says something. Great guess. See, I'm touching the donut. Okay, that shouldn't be the game end of our game, though. He should start all over again so we can keep practicing the game. Before I do that, I'm going to pause. I'm going to let you catch up by adding the if-else um, control structure. And if he's touching the donut, he says, great guess. If he's not touching the donut, say, almost, let's try again. So I'm just going to pause 
and let everybody catch up and then we'll do the last part. We're almost done. Okay, last part, we're almost done. Um, after the, the dog moves to the door, I want him to start all over again and we're gonna continue playing. So look what I need to do. After this part, what we need to do is tell a donut to go to a new spot and then the donut's gonna go all, or the dog's gonna start all the way at the beginning. So I'm gonna use the broadcast feature. We've used this in the science lessons and in some of the grade seven uh, math lessons. So we're gonna use it now. So I'm going to go get the broadcast, broadcast a message, and it's under the events, broadcast, yes, broadcast a message. So after the dog has uh, gone to his positions, then we're going to yell out new position or something like that. So I'm going to click new message, and it's going to say new position. So that means that the dog is going to be yelling new position. And when the donut hears new position, when he receives the new position signal, he goes to a random spot again. Go to a random spot. All right? So the dog yells, new position, although you won't hear it because it's a computer. He's going to do it silently. He's going to yell, new position. And when the donut hears new position, he goes to a random spot. Okay, last thing for the dog. After he yells, new position, we're going to go all the way back to the beginning forever and ever. So I'm going to get a forever loop and make it and wrap it around the whole thing it's going to be huge there we go so at the end he starts all over again he goes back to zero zero he says help me find a donut and on and on let's try this one more time this is the last little bit so green flag help me find the donut what is the coordinates of the donut oh it's hiding behind there that's okay i can still guess x coordinate is about 100 the y coordinate is about negative 150. let's see if that works Oh, I missed. All right, let's try again. See, he went back to the beginning. The donut moved to a new position, and we start all over again. This time I'm going to win. What is the x-coordinate of the donut? Negative 20. What is the y-coordinate? I'm going to say 30. Great guess. And we start all over again. The donut goes to a random position. He's hiding back there. And the dog goes back to 0, 0. Hey, there's a couple of other things you could add. You could um, add some music. It's always nice to have a little bit of music playing in the background. You can also make the game easier or harder. And you can do that by changing the size of the different sprites. If you make the dog bigger, the game's going to be a little bit easier. If you make the donut bigger, it's going to be a little bit easier. If you make the dog and the donut smaller, it's going to be harder. So there's some ways to make the... Uh, game easier and harder. You can add a little bit of music and um, you could even put a title if you like. Anyways, I think that's the end of our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed that one. I look forward to seeing you at our grade eight math lesson three. It's going to be a fun one. Uh, rainbow tag. It's a, it's a great activity. Anyways, have a good rest of your day and I'll see you next time.